Forgive Me Father is the 18th episode of the second season of The Golden Girls. This is directed by Terry Hughes and as always there will be spoilers from now as I go through the episode and share some thoughts. And this is a, a pretty good one. We definitely have some good moments. We have some great moments between Rose and Sophia particularly. It's not unique that Rose just has no idea what Sophia is talking about and vice versa to be fair. But I just feel like that was a lot in this episode. I actually didn't write down very many quotes at all, actually, which is unusual. That's not to say I didn't think it was well written or that the dialogue wasn't very good. There was only one quote that I wrote down, though, and the quote itself isn't that interesting, but the delivery of the line is. But I'll talk about that when we get there. It starts off with Rose telling Sophia about a problem she had with a driver, and then Dorothy comes in and is talking about the fact a teacher she has been working with for two weeks has not yet asked her out. Which, to be honest, more so sounds like something Blanche would say than Dorothy. But nevertheless, Dorothy is a little bit unsettled by this. And Blanche, to her credit, tells Dorothy to ask him out, which I think is, is a brilliant attitude to have. And we find out why Blanche gets so many dates. Because she walks right up close to Dorothy and pretends to make a move on Dorothy, basically showing her, this is how you do it. And I have to say, she was smooth. She did a great job of it. And Dorothy agrees. She asks him to dinner. It's a character called Frank. He's played by John McMartin. We initially see them together at work. And then we cut to the next scene and everybody's getting ready, helping out to prepare things for dinner. It is actually going to be a dinner with also Blanche and Rose there. Sophia is at bingo, which seemed like a sensible decision for Dorothy to choose that night. And it's lovely how everybody's supporting Dorothy, getting everything ready. Really lovely to see. And then we have the knock at the door and Blanche goes to answer it. And it's Frank, except we learn that his actual title is Father Frank, Father Frank Leahy. He is a priest. And Blanche's response was amazing. She tried to be respectable and calm and collected, but every word that tumbled out of her mouth was basically the wrong thing to say, and she was getting very flustered, really enjoyed the performance. And then Rose comes in, and initially she's not taking in the fact that he is dressed like a priest, and she's just talking about things, being very warm and welcoming, and then Blanche kind of nudges her, and Rose says, and this is the line, and the line itself doesn't sound funny, but just the way Betty White delivered it was just so fantastic. She says, he's a priest, isn't he? I told you, it's not funny. The actual line itself isn't funny, but the delivery was just... So perfect. Absolutely loved it. And then out comes Dorothy, dressed in a slightly revealing, very, very sparkly outfit. And I have to say, she looks incredible. But it is so funny because she sits down on the sofa. On one end of the sofa, we have Dorothy dressed like a glitter ball. And at the other end, we have Father Frank. And it is so funny. It's just so well done. And then Sophia comes over, and Sophia's not had a great time at bingo. By coincidence, she's blaming priests. And I don't think things played out as awkwardly for everybody as it could have done. Sophia's reaction, Sophia's reaction is always impossible to predict. There are times when it seems like she's going to say something really inappropriate, and then she doesn't. And there are times when she definitely comes out with something that doesn't best fit the scenario. But actually, with this one... It wasn't too bad in terms of how she was embarrassing everybody. And we have an interesting and unpredictable couple of seconds because they have dinner. Everything goes really well, regardless of what has happened and the initial awkwardness. But then it seems like Frank was trying to get away because he says, look at the time, I better get going. And it seems like he wants to run away from the situation, which, to be fair, is maybe true. But then he says to Dorothy, I was hoping we could have dinner soon. I'm thinking of leaving the church. And that's not what I was expecting him to say, given the fact that it seemed like he was fleeing the situation. And the scene where he leaves and all we can see is Dorothy standing in the doorway and I think it's Rose in the background and Dorothy's expression is kind of hard to read, actually, but in a way that's that's really fascinating. 
we then have a couple of great moments after this. In fact, the rest of the episode is also brilliant. Dorothy's in the kitchen. She couldn't sleep. Rose predicted this. So she went out and got cheesecake and ice cream. And I just want to say, I've never had cheesecake with ice cream. That's an odd combination to me. I'd love to know if that is something that people commonly have. I feel like I've never had cheesecake in a restaurant, but I kind of imagine that if you have restaurant cheesecake, they might serve it with ice cream, but I've never ever had that. And I can't imagine it would be nice. I'm overthinking this, but it, it strikes me as interesting. They have their cheesecake and as Rose is sitting down, Dorothy mentions Pam Dauber, which made me so happy. Love, love Pam Dauber. It was a very brief mention and it made me smile quite a lot. Dorothy is then going to the church to see Frank because she can't wait for this dinner at the restaurant. She just wants to go and talk about it with him now because she can't get it out of her mind. But meanwhile, Sophia has also gone to the church and she's gone to confess things. In theory, she's gone into the box to confess things. And she starts talking to a priest about her daughter. And we, the viewer, know that it's not Frank that she's talking to. And we then see Dorothy talking with Frank and Frank reveals that he was thinking of leaving the church as a priest. He wants to become a teaching priest instead rather than a parish priest. That's what he meant. And I think it's reasonable that the assumption Dorothy had previously come to is that he was leaving the church to be with her. I feel like that's a fair assumption. And I think the way everything was handled was really well. I think he was very polite about Dorothy's mistake. And I think Dorothy, although flustered, didn't let it become too overwhelmingly embarrassing. And I think that the scene played out really well. And then we, <laughs> the ending, it's, it's absolutely amazing. They have a hug. It's really nice, really lovely. And then Sophia comes out, having talked to the priest she thinks is Frank. And I thought she was going to realize that she'd been talking to the wrong person. But instead, she says to Frank, who is hugging Dorothy, it's like you didn't hear a word I said, which I just, I absolutely adore. I thought that was a very fun way to end things. So it is a brilliant episode. I think it's very unpredictable. I think Frank is a really likable character. Nothing in this played out in the way that I was expecting, but in a way that's really exciting and very, very well done. We have a lot of comedy in this and a bit of suspense as well and I think the two are balanced so well and then you throw in the very brief mention of Pam Dauber and I'm pretty happy all round. I don't think I have any personal highlights. Yes I do aside from the mention of Pam Dauber. It's definitely Rose saying he's a priest isn't he and then Sophia's remark at the end but the whole episode was brilliant. Forgive Me Father is a really solid episode of The Golden Girls.